by the time you actually start using the performance that this one has that the other one doesn't have, you're going to jail fast. Right. <laughs> and you're just getting hurt. The Lightning LS218. If you haven't heard of this bike, it's called the LS218 because it went 218 miles per hour at Bonneville. It also won Pikes Peak. It is the fastest electric motorcycle you can buy. And compared to gas bikes, it's up there with the H2. It's the ultimate unicorn, something I never thought I'd see in person. I mean, this is something very few people have gotten the chance to ride. Obviously Jay Leno, and only a handful of journalists. Laura Scaparossi rode this exact full carbon fiber LS218. Who am I? I'm just some guy with a YouTube channel, right? Not even a good YouTube channel. So when Richard asked me if I wanted to go around the block on the legendary electric superbike that's terrified everyone who's ridden it, that usually gets reactions like this. <laughs> oh my god. I wasn't going to turn this down. Okay, it's running. Okay. It's in neutral. Sweet. Yep, just go ahead and get on. And then, and then side stand up. There's a lot of regen, so slow speed corners, sometimes you want to kick it into neutral. You know how it feels like when you're dragging your brake into a corner, right? It wants oh, yeah. to fall in. So you can either add a little throttle if you think about it or kick it into neutral. It's set up the way I like to set it up, which is like one throttle, you know, one control. Mm. Go slow, go slow. But uh, it sometimes will catch you out if you're not ready for it. Okay. So like in the slow speed corner when you're going, you're ready to add a little bit. Okay. And when the throttle is like, you got to really kind of ease into it and, and you know, maybe I'm over warning you. Okay. No, no, it's, it's better to be careful. Oh yeah, sweet. Cool, all right, I'll be back. Ah, strong region. Way stronger. Let's talk about the ergonomics. First thing you notice is how spread out you are. The bars are really far forward and your feet are behind you and really high up. You can tell this bike was designed for land speed records. I was basically laying down on the tank, kind of like a Tron bike. Um, I'm gonna just go around these guys. Wow, this is so aggressive. Super, super aggressive. Riding position is almost totally leaned over. Unlike the Strike, this one is chain driven, so it's a lot louder. But that kind of adds to the experience. Like if the power doesn't scare you, the sound will. So what about the power? I only got to ride it around the block, and after all of Richard's warnings and hearing about people crashing on test rides, I just wanted to take it easy. I mean, at 100 miles an hour, you roll into the throttle, the front wheel just starts coming off. <laughs> it's the same horsepower and torque as a Tesla Roadster. Wow. Wow, on a bike. On a bike. I mean, this is a very expensive unicorn, so I was probably overly careful, but I mean, I still wanted to get a feel for the power, so... are amazing. <laughs> wow, 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 wow. <laughs> this is crazy. I'm not sure what to compare this to. It's similar to a Hayabusa, but with instant throttle response. It was a lot like the Energica Ego, but with more power and less weight. I feel like to see what this bike is really capable of, you have to start the test ride over 100 miles per hour. It was insane, that's really all I can say. I was joking that by letting me ride the LS218, Richard would sell me on that one instead of the Strike, but I still think the Strike is better. It's more comfortable. But if they could somehow put the power of the LS218 into the more comfortable Strike, that would be the ultimate sport bike. Wow, what an experience. Anyway, I want to say a huge thank you to Richard for letting me ride such an amazing bike. I, I realize it's not a normal thing for him to let someone ride an LS218, like the unicorn. Uh, and the stuff that they're working on at the shop would blow your minds. It blew my mind. So keep an eye on Lightning in the near future, and thanks for watching. I'll see you guys next time.